Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week we're in downtown Elizabethton, Tennessee for one of the nicest car shows you're ever going to see. This pretty little town in East Tennessee hosts weekly cruise-ins, but once a year, the local car club puts on a fundraiser that brings cars from far and wide. Let me tell you, you're going to see some fine cars and meet some even finer people. What do you say we get around and give it a gander? So Ron, how did this all get started? It's been running quite a while, right? 24 years, we started uh, having a show once a year when the club formed. Every year it's been progressing, and uh, like uh, three years ago, we came downtown with our show. And it's just grown every year. We're down here with the businesses. They love us, and we love them. And uh, we're getting more and more uh, participation. Of course, uh, you have uh, doubled or our participation, or maybe even tripled it. So we have that to be thankful for. Well, how big a club does this? I mean, are you a big club? Or? Oh, we're uh, about 45 to 50. It, it fluctuates a few each each year. It's a little bit different, but uh, it's in 40, 45 to 50, and we raise anywhere from uh, 20 to 25 thousand dollars. And you're busy. I got to shoot a show. Let's look at a few of these cool let's cars. Let's do that. All right. Come on. Let's see where we can find. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Milburn, this is, uh, what, it's a 54 Plymouth, right? Yes, a 1954 Plymouth. It's a Plaza Business Coupe. Only one windshield wiper on Only one windshield wiper. Wow. We don't drive it a lot in the rain. Yeah. Well, so now you've, <laughs> you've had this a while, right? Yes, since 1965. Wow, okay. I dated in it when I was a teenager. Oh, boy. So it kind of takes you back, huh? Right. You did take a car that arguably doesn't have great lines, but you did some nice stuff with it. I like the color. Originally, it was going to go all solid green uh -huh. with it. We did the nice two-tone, and we did that. We liked it so good, we went ahead and carried it on over to the car. Well, yeah, and I think it is the interior that really caught my eye. That two-tone, the two-tone dash, the cream and green. You kept it pretty stock looking, but put updated instruments in right. it. And I love the, the tack the and the console. Yeah, and the billet steering. Yeah. And nice, and, and I mean, did you did you redo this car? Did you rebuild this car yourself? Yes, me and a friend of mine. Man. I'd had, I, oh, said, wow. I had the car stored in the drive, and I quit driving it, and then I got it out one day, I was gonna do something with it. I didn't know I was going to do this, but this is what it ended up. <laughs> well, it, you know, it caught my eye. I liked, and I like the tail lights. I mean, they're, it kind of sets off the back yeah, end. Yeah, they were original. Even the little red reflector is, you know, that is was that right? original. So, so what did it come with for an engine originally? Okay, it had a flathead six cylinder. Uh-huh. Yeah, it still have that in there? No, it doesn't uh, have it in there uh, now. Okay, let's look at it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's no flathead six. What, what, what are we yeah. looking at? Okay, this is a 385. GM crate motor, uh -huh. great performance, takes the crate motor. They put the GM hot cam in it, and then they put their fuel injection on it. And so it's fuel injected, it has a lot of torque on it. How and many so horsepower? It puts out about 430 horsepower now. <laughs> we drove it up here about an hour and a half away. Is that right? So what do you think of this show? I love it, beautiful place, Isn't beautiful great? town. It is, it's a great show. Well, and you got the only 54 Plymouth here. I think so. You're the only kid on the block. I believe, <laughs> I never have parked beside one like it. <laughs> Robert, thanks a lot, that's a, okay, that's a cool ride. Okay, thank you very much. Enjoy to be on the show. Well, Scott, I love these. I love these Volkswagen vans. What year? It's a 1976. 1976. And it's, is it the VW van? Is it a microbus? What is it? It's a, just a VW van, transporter, or just a plain old Volkswagen bus. But, Volkswagen, but it's, it's after the microbus. Right? Yeah. So this the isn't the magic bus. No, it's not the magic bus. <laughs> no, I'm sure it isn't. But you've got a pretty magic paint job on it. I mean, oh, this yeah, is it's, it's bright. Now, mm -hmm. did you restore this? Yeah, my wife and I restored it. Is it a family it. project? Yeah, yep, sure is. How cool. Now, it seems to sit awful high. Have you jacked it up? Or no, we haven't done anything to it. The suspension's all original. Everything underneath is original. And with no front there. end, you can pull right up the Oh, something. you can get right on, right on top of something. And turn, turn on the dime. <laughs> yeah, you can get in and out anywhere with it. Sure well, open it up. I love the okay. interior of these. Oh, yeah. You've done some work here, too. Oh, yeah. yeah it's very cheery, I would say. Oh, it's, it's bright on the inside, also. We've, <laughs> we've changed the inside and put a little, you know, some curtains in it. Uh, had, a, had originally an off-white basket weave. Um, seats in it. We changed those to match the, the outside of it. 
You use this, right? Yeah, yeah, we sure do. You have kids too? Yeah. Do they kids. love this thing oh, to yeah. death? Yeah, they love it. Just, <laughs> they want to take it all the time. Anywhere we go, they want to take that. I love the roof rack. Was that original or? No, we, we put that on. It looks cool though. Just I mean, for, nice for touch. looks, and we can also put luggage up on, on top of it too. How many kids do you have? Four. So you do use the roof rack? Yeah, we thought about putting a few of them on top. That'd be a good place. <laughs> Flash them down. Yeah, I think that's where they're strapped down. And these were uh, intakes. The for air the, intakes to, to the cool engine, the engine. Right? Mm -hmm. sure Which, is. of course, is right the back original there. VW engine. Now, how many how many miles does this thing have on it? I mean, is this a? It's actually got uh, about 33, almost 34,000 original miles on it. That's it for a 76? That's it. Wow. That's it. Man. Just found it sitting. Well, hey, man, this is a great, great car. Well, thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming out. You thank had a good you. time today? Oh, I've had a, had a ball today. It's a great show. Good to have it? you here with us. All right. Thank Take you. Take care, Scott. All right. Thank you. Welcome back to My Classic Car. So, Debbie, very nice car here. Thank you very much. I'm a wagon nut, oh. it's, so you know you, you got me. It's a '59 though, right? It's a '59. Beautiful, beautiful car, Thank and you. you know I love the color scheme. That you know the silver, the black, the red interior. But this baby's yours, right? This is mine. This, this is, is this is mine. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> and don't you forget it. Now, you didn't build it. No, my husband. But you directed it. I directed it. How I gave. I'm the supervisor. You're the supervisor. <laughs> Are you tough to work for or not? No, not too I bad. think I'm good. <laughs> so, I mean, did you, what all, what, what all was your involvement? What all did you pick out? I mean, I picked out the colors uh -huh. and I picked out the, well, the car itself. My husband never thought of making a hot rod out of a wagon. It is great looking. You've obviously lowered it down. It has air ride. Nice. Very mm -hmm. nice. But the interior, it, yes. it just, I think the interior is killer. Whole new pattern and uh, all the ideas and. Man, it looks like some period fabric. Yep, stitched that's, in there. That's about some 60 Cadillac fabric really? that's in there. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. Then the 59 dash, I don't think there's a, a, a cooler dash than the 59. A lot of street riders take them out and put them in all sorts of other things because it's very just so pretty, cool. Very pretty. You have the doggondest headliner I've ever seen. Surfs, surfs up, right? Surfs up. Surfs up, up here. <laughs> Inside. Uh, where did that idea come from? Well, I originally wanted to put the board on top. I wanted an original luggage rack. I couldn't find that, so once the paint was put on the top of the car, we decided I'll put it inside. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> well, it, it look, I mean, it's cool, and it's the only one I've ever seen. Well, it, it, you know, it's cool. Great lines all the way to the back. Does this car get a lot of attention? A lot of attention, yeah. just because it's so different and it is, a hot rod wagon. <laughs> it is. It is that, and and uh, like you say, it surfs up, right? Yes. Up there. Up in the top. <laughs> now, is uh, is this a trailer queen, or do you drive it? Oh or? no, we drive it everywhere. No it's, kidding. It's it's been to Daytona. It's been to Louisville. It's been everywhere it goes. It's been driven. How cool. Car and uh, what what? Pushes it down the road? It has you? a 350. Well, let's go have a look at that 350. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a little, little polishing action in there. Uh, were you involved in that? My choice, too. Chrome <laughs> is my favorite color. <laughs> Three deuces. Boy. And, and it runs great, eh? It runs great. Blast to drive. He did a good job. It, it is. The I'd air ride in the motor. I'd hang on to him if I were you. I, I intend to. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Debbie, thanks for bringing it out. This is really thank you very much. It's for a very cool it. ride. Thank you. Well, Roy, this is a a really good looking fifty two Henry J, and you don't hear those words together a lot. Really good looking Henry J. You don't hear that. Now you've done some mods up front. That that front end is it looks real Studebaker to me. What's the what all did you do? Uh, I changed uh, take out the stock grill. And you built it, eh? I built it original car when I bought it. Ain't original anymore, is it? No, 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 no. no. Uh, Great look at interior too, because yeah. there's more room in these things than I thought there was. Uh, uh, the seat to where I got lumbar support in, and I had to look at it low profile, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I cut the dash back with the engine set about 10 inches. But these fins, I mean, this was, uh, I mean, this is really the trademark of the Henry J, and it. Right, uh, those fins, yeah. It's, it's like a cartoon car. Uh, Did I hear you say something about a big block? Chevrolet? I got a 454 Chevrolet. Up there. Right. Well, let's look at that. I, I, wow. I, yeah, it I, sets back a ways, doesn't right. it? You must have uh, to cut the firewall way back. I cut the firewall, I think about the eight or nine inches to get that engine sitting back there and the fan blade and everything else on it. <laughs> now, do you drive this thing? I drive it everywhere I go. Uh, three weeks after I uh, got it, it built, I take it to India. Is it kind of hot rod nation. Is it kind of squirrely? No, it's uh, pretty, ride good, uh, good stable car. I got a, a Mustang II rack and pinion steering on, a uh, Mustang front end. I don't know how stable a person that builds a Henry J with a 454 is, but, but the car itself is stable, right? right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, hey man, 
<laughs> Thanks for bringing this okay. baby up. It's a, a good look in Henry J. Thank you. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Gary, uh, <laughs> what a cream puff. I, I, I don't even know where to begin. Um, <laughs> what a rat rod. Obviously, there's a theme here. What's your theme? The theme was a police car. We uh, bought the car in Charlotte last year in October and brought the car home. And, and we saw some bully hoes in it. We decided we're just going to build a theme car of a police car for a rat rod. <laughs> but man, you got you got adornments on here that I don't normally see. Of course, you got your siren. It's a, it's a police car, right? <laughs> right. Pistol grip on the uh, dipstick there. Uh -huh. But your air cleaner, uh -huh. um, projector, what, what is that thing? I don't know really what it is. <laughs> it's, uh, we an bought, we, it's an air cleaner. <laughs> we bought it in an antique flea market and I saw it and I said that'd make an interesting piece to make a breather and we've had it guess to be everything. We don't know what it is and we haven't found anybody yet could tell us exactly what it really is. <laughs> well, and, and the interior, quite uh, nicely appointed also. What all do we have here? Well, for the gas pedal, we have handcuffs. For the brake, we have a star with a hand, man's hand holding it. We have These are 50 caliber, aren't 50 they? 50 caliber bullets for the signal lights. We've got a frying pan for the instrument cluster. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> and uh, we have this old 1915 lock that we use to tie the prisoners to uh, together when they were in prison. That's right. uh, anti-theft. That's and your anti-theft? Yeah. We, uh -huh. we right. have a phone from the call home if they can. And uh, the old <laughs> boot there is our cup holder. And then how about uh, the mailbox? The mailbox, yes. Yeah. We have it in there. That's my wife's ideal. She needs somewhere to put her powder puff stuff, so mm, she wants yeah. to put a mailbox in. So. Like your seat belts. Yes. And her log chains with uh, handcuffs to lock them in. <laughs> well, and you know, nobody's getting out of the back of this. This is this is real barbed. This is old barbed wire. That is, that's real old barbed wire. The guy, my neighbor, had helped me build it, Larry Osborne. He got this from where he works off an old fence row, and it's way, way old there. Yeah, you better have your tetanus shot. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Everybody has to touch it to see if it's real. It is real. Yeah, and it is, it is definitely real. Uh, you got some other pretty bizarre appointments. Is that a colander? That is a colander. And this part here is off an Abachi grill. This part's off of a 67 Chevrolet tail, uh, tail light truck lens. And this is antique drinking glasses put together <laughs> to make the tail lights for the car. Now, Rat Roger controversy. You always get the, you know, yeah, but is it safe? It, it's, what, 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 what's power in this? What's the running gear? What? The running gears in this car is an 84 Oldsmobile. And it's um, up front, it's a 307 O's. The O's uh, on this side, Cadillac. Cadillac like over there. Yeah. We call it an Ozalac, yes. You <laughs> notice the motor's half and half. It's half blue and half green, like the 50 <laughs> Cadillac 50 O's. <laughs> but it's got all late model running gears, S10 rear in it. It's got front disc brakes on it. And the, the car is 100% street legal. This has got disc brakes? Disc brakes on the front. Now, I mean, have you taken this on any long hauls? We just came back on an 800-mile trip with it up to uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky, to the NHRA Nationals there with it, and we're fixing to go to Louisville, Kentucky. In it. I think you got a rock chip. Yeah. That. Is that a rock chip? <laughs> That's a that? rock chip. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, it, this is, this is a, the rattiest and probably the coolest rat rod I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, <man>. thanks. <laughs> and I'm being good because I ain't going to jail in this baby. <laughs> You know, I just love these Hometown America shows, and Elizabethton's got it all. I mean, great cars, fine folks, and a beautiful setting. If I had to make a recommendation, I'd say, y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>